Hello everyone and welcome back. This is MCLOP1 and now as promised I'm showing off my uh, Allied Armed Forces collection from World War II. I say Allied because I've got three British soldiers here, so making this not just an American army but technically an Allied army. Anyways, uh, I will take a brief look at the vehicles that I have and then I'll show you some of the figures. So, uh, on the far left here, we have the Kobe World of Tanks M4A1 Sherman. I really like this kit. It is very good looking. Uh, it's a nice size, very solid, very functional. I made a review of it. Uh, you should go check that out. I sort of retrofitted these hatches uh, to fit Lego minifigures because they wouldn't. It only fit Kobe minifigures the way it came. Uh, next is another Kobe vehicle. This is their version of the Willys Jeep. Um, I am not sure that's their original antenna, and I might replace that. Um, this thing I got forever ago. Okay, it's, uh, it's not bad. A lot more stickers than the some other Kobe sets, but um, a little V6 engine in there. Um, unfortunately, a lot of it is just this one molded piece, which I don't care for particularly, but it, it the end result looks nice. Um, and then this is, uh, my, I say my Willie's Jeep, um, the recipe from this, uh, comes from a channel called Lego World War II Willie's Jeep, I believe. I've made a bit of modifications. I think the rearview mirror was was me. Um, I added the doors as well, and these little weapon racks in the back, and maybe on the sides. I'm not 100 percent. It's a brick arms um, Browning machine gun. Uh, an ammo box. Uh, this here. Something I made yesterday, this was my attempt at a T-17 armored car. I'm not thrilled with the way it came out, certainly not enough to make a video on it. I think it's okay though, so I'll include it here. I am very happy with the chassis that I made, um, but man, the turret was difficult. It was so difficult trying to get the right shape um, with a vehicle this small. You know, you don't have much flexibility you're trying to make something this small. Um, so yeah, just very difficult with the tan pieces that I had to try and emulate the shape of that armored car. I did as well as I could. Uh, this is about the only way I could figure out how to make a closing hatch on here. Um, I don't know. I think it's decent. It's, it's really not one of my favorite creations, though. Uh, the chassis is mostly based off of a Kobe something. I'm not sure if it was like a fucking armored car or an ATV or something. I don't really remember. All I know is that I changed it to make an armored car. Uh, yeah. Made that yesterday. I, or two days ago. Yesterday. It's okay. Not in love with it. Um, uh, we also got some equipment here. I have a ton of brick arms. Frag grenades. This is a Kobe little chest here, a couple of mortars that, oops, a couple of mortars that I made, they are, they are identical, very, very simple to make, um, but they look very nice, I think, um, over here, this is a Lewis gun, not Lewis gun, that's a British thing, this is another Browning, but this one's made with Lego pieces. I made a video on how to make this. If you can't just see how to make it from me holding it. The video is pretty cringe though. It's back when I was making like Tobuscus voices because I was obsessed with him. So yeah, maybe don't watch that one. Um. <laughs> Anyways, here's my figures. I believe this is all of them. Got the three British guys I'll just show first briefly. This guy's got a Lee Enfield, Chrome, 
I use chrome weapons, so sue me. I think they look nice. This guy also has a chrome Lee Enfield. I think he's actually just identical in every way. Oh, except for the arms. They're a little different, I guess. And uh, this fella has got a Lewis gun. This is actually a bright green Lewis gun that I painted black, hence the matte finish. Um, so those are my British World War II soldiers. Uh, these doughboy helmets are just not as common. And I'm American, so I have more Americans. Um, here in the front, we got Brick Forge. I think it's Brick Forge. Uh, Doc and Sarge, very nice figures. So you can see the M1 Grand has brick arms. I painted the black parts on there to represent the metal parts of the rifle. But yeah, they're they're very nice. I made a re separate review of them. Here we've got my super soldiers. For anyone who knows U.S. history, this is Captain America. He was in the U.S. Army. Army. Um, this is this Captain America inspired super soldier guy that I made just for fun. He's got the bullet or bomb actually. He's got the bomb designs on his stuff. That's Brick Forge accessories. Uh, Indiana Jones got drafted. As you can see, not the right face, but um, let's see. I'm going to try to pick out some other noteworthy guys. Um, Unique guys. This one I painted a little, a uh, little bit of camo onto the helmet. I like the way it looks. Don't know why I colored his thing, his torso. It was a long time ago. Um, this one came from a minifigures Lego minifigure pack. He's like a pilot, um, but I turned him into a soldier. So he got drafted too. Um, wrong place, wrong time, really. This guy is like a jungle camo sort of guy, and I gave him a patch. I'm really not sure. That might be upside down. But I'm not going to change it right now. Uh, most of these guys have M1 pot helmets from Brick Arms. Um, the exceptions being these guys, these have Brick Forge helmets would be all four of these guys right here, and this guy, this guy. Uh, I think that's all the Brick Forge helmets, perhaps. I'm missing one, but I, I'm not sure where he is. Oh, it's this one, because he's the spade helmet guy. Um, let's see. So as you can see, I painted black onto the M1 Garands just to make it a little more realistic. I also have this sniper. I painted that rifle as well. He's got the little ammo boxes. These guys, their torso comes from the Toy Story 3 That's a set with the army men. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me to use. This M1 carbine I painted brown. It's originally gunmetal. Oh, and this helmet is the Toy Story Army guy set helmet, except I painted it dark green. I've used a couple of those in here. Uh, and I want to show you just a couple of the Thompsons. This is... One of my guys has the Lego brand Thompson. I just gotta find him. This guy, I don't know where this set came from, but it's a Lego Tommy gun. It's probably some gangster thing since they don't do military. Uh, this is the Brick Arms Thompson with the removable drum. And uh, here's a good example of one of the Thompsons. I painted the grip and the stock to, again, look more lifelike. I did that with all of my black Brick Arms Thompsons, except for this, because I got this one recently. Okay, that just about does it. I rambled on for way longer than I had to in this video, but thank you for watching. I currently don't have any more videos planned. 
uh, time will tell. So thanks for watching. Um, goodbye.